Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World. This is Daniel Rosal here. Today I want to do a quick video about using Alarmo in Home Assistant and just a little sort of bell and whistle I added to my ongoing development of my alarm system, uh, which is that when the alarm is triggered, a bunch of lights are going to go off with the idea, of course, that that's going to deter perhaps a potential intruder. So there's a few ways that you could potentially do this. If you spend time on the uh, various fora, including the Home Assistant fora, you're going to come across this little code snippet here for uh, turning on all the lights. Now, theoretically, this is wonderful because it's kind of a little bit of a dirty piece of code, if you will, in the sense that it's kind of undiscriminating. But, you know, it looks like you could just invert this uh, to call the service light dot turn dot turn on um, and then enter the ID is all. The issue here that I found is that Alarmo complains it won't recognize all as a specific as a real entity ID and it'll tell you that you can't uh, add it. So what we're going to do instead is just create a scene uh, for activating all the lights and uh, I'll, this is uh, how to do this. If you've used Home Assistant for more than five minutes, you probably already know all about how to configure scenes, but it's just a quick demo that I replicated here. So I created a scene called Alarm Going Off, Turn On All The Lights, and I just kind of chose the lights that I want to have. Now there is kind of one really weird bug in Home Assistant whereby uh, when you're editing scenes, it actually changes the devices in real time. So just be kind of mindful of these other people at home. Uh, but I selected all the, all the devices that I wanted to change and then I clicked on save to save that scene. What we're going to want to do next is grab the entity ID for the scene which we just created. There is a bunch of ways to do this. You can go settings entities or you can do setting scenes, type in alarm to find it quickly. This is the one that I just made for this demo video. Alarm going off, turn on all the lights. I'm going to click on to the info. And uh, you should also probably test, this would probably be a good time to test it out as well. Although you can do that in Alarmo, but if you wanna see it's working, click on activate. Again, I don't wanna annoy people, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, click into settings and we have here the entity ID. The prefix is seen and it's what, what comes after that's going to be useful. So there is the clipboard option. So I'll just go ahead and put that onto my clipboard. And now we just need to add this as an action in Alarmo. Here's the syntax that we're going to need because when you go into creating actions in Alarmo, it basically wants you to create them on the device level. It does, it filters out scenes. So you have to go into the YAML mode and this is just the few lines of YAML uh, that I've created here. So there is a uh, hyphen, a space, the space is an indentation in YAML is extremely important as people probably know. Service is going to be seen dot turn underscore or on. Entity ID is seen dot the scene that we've just created for turning on the lights and uh, we don't need anything in the data prefix here. So I'm gonna go now and copy that in to Alarmo. So in Alarmo, you want to go over to the right for actions because this is an action that's gonna happen if there is an alarm. We want to click into new action and in, now we can configure it. So the event is going to be that the alarm is triggered. Uh, if you want, you can filter on the mode which filters on the arming mode. So like only if it's in a certain arming mode and it's, and it's triggered, will this uh, particular task run? But I'm not going to do that. I want it to run regardless of what arming mode it was it was in. And under task here, you see, you see what I mean when you go in for entities, it's going to just bring up the actual like real entities, device, sorry, device entities, I should say, like individual lights. So this is why you need to click in to YAML. And all I'm going to do here is just copy and paste the YAML that we just did. And this is where you can test it out to make sure that Alarmo is happy with the syntax that it runs. I'll do this now. And basically all the lights have just turned on in my office and everywhere else in the house that we added to that rule. So all looks good. We can now click on save and that is pretty much it. Now, whenever the alarm is triggered, in addition to all the other actions you've configured, uh, you're going to get uh, the lights on. It's always good practice as well, just to, just to add a name. So I'm just gonna write, turn on all the lights when the alarm is triggered. So my assistant is going to simulate an intrusion event by opening the door, which will trigger the sensor. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps until the next video.